Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Spade Keaton. I hope you guys are ready because we're doing a bit of a mashup. You know, I'm a Louisiana girl, so I always like a little bit of laying out. This month we're talking food and entrepreneurship as this month is National Black Business Month and in Arkansas, it's Catfish Month. We are talking with Jasper Lee, who is the owner of Lee's Freshest Catch. All these things mashed up is going to make for an amazing steak heat in. Come on, check it out. Let's go learn more about it. Hey guys, so we are here with Lee, Jasper Lee that is, and he is the owner of Lee's Freshest Fish Food Truck. That's right. Fresh caught fresh fries. You said that you, you fish every day. Every day. So like seven days a week every day? Seven days a week. I got nets out in the river now. Really? So uh, at the end of today, I will go and I will uh, run my nets, bring the fish in, yeah. and uh, clean them, and put my nets back out. And run them. So how early do you get up and go out in? I get up about 3 o'clock in the morning. Woo! I try to make it to the river by 5. Yeah. So I can catch the sun to rise. So what does a good day look like? A good day? Every day, really a good day. <laughs> I can't even lie, but uh, one day I might not catch anything. I'll go back the same the next day in the same spot, the same location, and catch thousands of them. Wow. How long have you been working Lee's Fresh, Freshest Fish? I've been working the uh, Lee's Freshest Fish since uh, 20, 2019. So before the pandemic? Before the pandemic, yep. yep. God gave me the vision when I was 17. I opened up the Bible and I understood uh, Noah and the ark. I knew that he had more than one animal on the boat, but he didn't have any fish. Because <laughs> the fish was already in the water. Wow. So, you know, I just I said, it. I gotta go get me some. I gotta have it. So, of course, we can't talk to me about his business, and we sure as heck can't leave here without what? Trying his product, trying his fish. So, Many of y'all may not know that I don't eat meat. But I do. So Brian does. Uh -huh. So you all, if you haven't met Brian, Brian is the community liaison from Mosaic Service Cultural Center. So I brought him along so he can share the experience with y'all. So we have not opened it. We have not seen it. This is not rigged. This is not staged. We can try to see y'all. This is like being at grandma's house when she would go fishing and come home and clean catfish. Well, I would clean them and then she would cook it. It's fried hard. It, it's, I just need some mustard and hot sauce. Lee's freshest fish, corner of Asher and Elm, it's the red food truck. Red food truck. Come get it. Come get it. Thank you. I hope you guys had an amazing time with us this month. You know, one of the things I always love talking about is Arkansas Black Excellence and Black Entrepreneurs. And there is no way that we can talk about catfish and Black Entrepreneurs without talking about last season. It is an Arkansas staple. It is one of the oldest restaurants in Arkansas. It won an amazing James Beard Award. It's a very coveted award. They were also inducted into the Arkansas Hall of Fame, which, fun fact, I'm on the Arkansas Food Hall of Fame committee. And it's just, it's an amazing place. It has so much historic value when it comes to Arkansas. Last season is definitely an Arkansas treasure. And speaking of Arkansas treasures, I can't leave you this month without talking about our walking tour. It's coming up September 10th with our community liaison, Brian Rogers. Make sure you check it out as we're gonna be talking about historic West 9th Street. You can visit our social media for that. I hope you had an amazing time hanging out with us at this episode of Heat In. Make sure you tune in for next time.